Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, has found himself in the midst of a legal battle concerning his visa application to the United States. A group of campaigners has demanded that his visa application be made public. This demand comes in the wake of a lawsuit related to allegations of drug use by Prince Harry. The campaigners argue that the public has a right to know the details of Prince Harry's visa application. This is particularly relevant given that Prince Harry has previously admitted to drug use in his memoir, Spare. Under U.S. visa rules, applicants are questioned about substance use and previous criminal charges. Therefore, the campaigners are interested in whether Prince Harry was open about his past drug use in his visa application and if so, how he managed to obtain entry into the United States. The lawsuit was filed by the Heritage Foundation, a prominent Washington, D.C., based think tank. They argue that the media coverage of Prince Harry's admitted drug use has called into question whether the government properly vetted him and followed proper procedures when it admitted him into the country. The foundation also hopes to determine whether celebrity elites are receiving preferential treatment and whether the Department of Homeland Security is operating fairly, without fear or favor. In response to the lawsuit, DHS has maintained that it cannot publicly release Prince Harry's visa records as this would breach his privacy. They argue that there is nothing to suggest widespread public interest in seeing the immigration documents. However, the Heritage Foundation argues that there is a public interest in knowing whether Harry was honest in his visa application, and if so, how he managed to obtain entry into America given his past use of a wide range of drugs. Despite the setback, Prince Harry's legal team can still seek permission directly from the Court of Appeal. The outcome of this legal battle could have far-reaching implications, not just for Prince Harry, but also for other public figures and the broader conversation around privacy, transparency, and the responsibilities of the state. In conclusion, while the legal battle continues, it highlights the complexities and challenges associated with such cases. It brings into focus the balance between public interest and personal privacy and the responsibilities of the state in providing security for individuals who, by virtue of their public status, may be at risk. As always, it's important to stay tuned to official news sources for the most accurate and up-to-date information.